Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm in Heidelberg, Germany. And this tree here is Esculus flava, the sweet buckeye, a horse chestnut species which is reported to be edible. Well, this was really amazing for me. Well, first it was really amazing for me when I found those couple trees in the uh, park of an old hospital which has been converted into a uh, university, into part of the university now. Yeah, about 20 years ago I saw a couple chestnuts, a, a couple horse chestnuts, which are not related to the true chestnuts, with yellow flowers and I managed to identify them as Esculus flava. And, and only today I read that the nuts of those plants are supposed to be edible. Basically for me it was always like this, yeah, the true chestnuts are edible, they are different species in Asia, in Europe, in America, and the horse chestnuts are not edible, they are bitter and probably toxic. But it turns out Esculus flava from the Appalachian Mountains in the US has been used by the Native Americans for food. Nowadays it's being used as a forest tree, tree as a timber tree because it's the biggest uh, chestnut species in the uh, horse chestnut species in the US and so yeah it has some significance uh, for its timber. Here I managed to acquire one of the chestnuts. By the way, yeah this is Esculus flava. Over there behind the fence is another Esculus flava. And I think here is another very small Esculus flava tree. But here are two European chestnut trees, Esculus hippocastanum. They look quite puny, they don't uh, seem to feel very well this year, but at least here you can see the difference. Esculus flava with its much uh, smoother bark and the leaves have a more nice autumn color in such a dry year Esculus hippocastanum the leaves just shrivel up where Esculus flava is at least trying to get a nice autumn color let's look for yeah. here is a fruit of Esculus hippocastanum very small normally the fruit are at least as big as the Esculus flava fruit but at least you can see important differences here Esculus hippocastanum has some quite noticeable spines. They are not as hard or sharp uh, as the spines of the true chestnut, but still they are there. Esculus flava just has tiny traces of spines. Yeah, as I said, the size difference is um, not normal here. Esculus hippocastanum fruit can get yeah, as big as even bigger than Esculus flava, but I can do a taste comparison. As you can see the chestnuts are not true nuts because they are in the center of a fruit. Ah, maybe this one is not ripe enough. Come on. Break. Okay. Ah, this Esculus flower as you can see is not properly ripe. It has the typical color of unripe or underripe uh, chestnuts. Here are two non-pollinated seeds. This one is pollinated. So now let's try the taste comparison because between the incredibly bitter European chestnut, Esculus hippocastanum, and Esculus flower, which should be not so bitter because it's called the sweet buckeye. Well, you cannot eat it like a normal chestnut, like Castanea. Um, Wikipedia says that the Native Americans used to roast it and leach out the bitterness. But let's see. Uh -huh. First Esculus hippocastanum. Mm. Those fruit are really not very well developed. Look at that. There is some white slime coming out of the fruit. Okay, let's try the starchy inside. Yeah, bitter. As I expected from Esculus hippocastanum. I guess every European child has tried to eat horse chestnuts once or twice in their life. And now, the sweet buckeye from the Appalachian Mountains.
beautiful pattern by the way unfortunately half ripe chest uh, half ripe horse chestnuts will not keep that pattern very long mm -hmm. bitter Ooh. Ooh, ooh. I wonder why it's called the sweet pakai. It's just as bitter as the European horse chestnut. Well, I mean, you need to roast it and leach out the bitterness. But I wonder if the untreated seed is just as bitter as the European chestnut. Maybe you could actually use the European chestnut for food just like the sweet pakai. Maybe if somebody from the U.S. is watching this, from the Appalachians or nearby areas, you can tell me if you have ever processed and eaten sweet buckeye. In Europe, chestnuts, horse chestnuts are basically just considered fit for animals, and even for them they are not considered the best food. So folks, please tell me, have you ever tried to process and eat sweet um, buckeye? I would be really interested. Apart from that, stay, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful city of Heidelberg with its many exotic trees. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.